welcome back to my channel. Day 6 we started to travel towards Trayambakeshwar. To reach this place it takes around 3 hours from Shirdi. We reached the place around 11.30 in the night. Rooms were not available as it was weekend. We finally found a lodge and it was so dark. Early in the morning, 5.30 am, we started to travel towards temple. Trayambakeshwar temple is located between three hills, namely Brahmagiri, Nilagiri and Kalagiri. This place is dedicated to God Shiva and it is one of the 12 Jyotirlingas. It was so crowded and we waited more than half in a queue. We can see live Jyotirlinga Darshan on television. We worship the Triambaka who is fragrant increasing the nourishment from these many bondages similar to cucumbers. May I be liberated from death so that I am not separated from the perception of immortality. This temple was built by Peshwa Balaji Baji Rao. The architecture and the temple was speechless. We had a beautiful darshan. We can see several shops all around the temple. Selling seashells, Spatika Linga, Rudrakshi Mala, Radhi Coins, Sri Pala, Ekanari and many more. It was a proud moment knowing each and every name of the things. As my family belongs to an Ayurvedic background. Next place is Nasik. Nasik is 46 minutes from Trambakeshwar. Nasik has a rich historical past. As a mythology has it that Lord Rama, the king of Ayodhya, made Nasik his abode during his 14 years in exile. At the same place, Lord Lakshman, by the wish of Lord Rama, cut the nose of Shurpanaka and thus the city called Nasik. There are around 21 temples to visit in Nasik. We took a rickshaw, he charged around 600 for 5 people. First we visited to Triveni Sangam. It is a confluence of three rivers, Ganga, Emuna and Saraswati. People say that if you bath here, it will flush away all of your sins and free from cycle of rebirth. Next we can see is Ardhanarishwara Temple. Next is Kapaleshwara Temple. We need to climb 51 steps to reach the temple. The temple is quite unusual because like other Shiva temple there is no statue of Lord Nandi. Next is Panchavati. Panchavati has a religious significance and it is believed that Lord Rama, Sita and Lakshmana stayed few years of Vanvasa. 
It was an unbelievable experience getting inside Guha. Even in some places we need to walk through our knees, not with legs. Next is Gore Ram. This temple is beautiful one with Ram, Sita, Lakshmana, Bharata, Shatrughna and Hanuman. Kala Ram Temple. The temple derives its name from a black statue of Lord Rama. It is a swayambhu found in Godavari River. Katya Maruti Lambe Hanuman Temple. This temple is famous for its big statue of Sri Hanumanji, which is 11 feet tall and 7 feet of diameter. Swami Narayana temple is very colorful and eye-catching one. We can see idols of Lord Narayana and his wife. Here we can see the sculptures how Lakshmana cut the nose of Surpanaki. Even we can see Ramayana epic pictures and paintings. Tapuvan, said to be the place where Lakshmana once recited, cut the nose of Surpanaka, the sister of Ramana. So, done with Nasik, let's travel towards Bhima Shankar. It's a long journey of five hours. We had our lunch at Shubham. We saw a dog, it was golden retriever. We saw a beautiful sunset. Why 
We raised the place around 8.30 p.m. They charge around 500 per person for taxi and for darshan. Even there are other options. Without taxi, you can just climb 230 steps or you can take dolly. Bhima Shankar is one of the 12 Jyotirlingas in the country. It was built around 13th century. The idol here is Swayambhu and it just resembles like Trambakeshwar temple. Thank you for watching. Next video will be the last video of this travel diaries. Please do like, share and subscribe.